What's up everybody, by the thumbnail you can tell that this is a video about how to check your compression on a B18 motor. This is going to be the same for a, basically every Honda um, D series and B series uh, as far as like the connectors and the way the uh, plug wires are. So let's get started. What you're going to need is a socket and ratchet to get the spark plugs out. And since my socket doesn't have a plug in there to, to grab the spark plug and pull it up out of the spark plug tube, I have to have a magnet to pull it out of the out of the engine. You're gonna need the compression tester and a lot of them come with adapters, so you're gonna need the right adapter to fit your um, sp specific application and what, what vehicle you got and everything like that, what, what style of spark plug it is. Make sure they're tight because that's going to be a loss of cylinder pressure if, if, if these little O-rings are leaking. When you do the compression test, you want to take out all the spark plugs and you want to make sure there's no fuel going to be in the cylinders. So the way I'm going to take it and make sure there's no fuel in these cylinders while I'm starting it is I'm going to take the connectors off of the fuel injector here. And all you do is trying to look through the camera and do this. You pop these doodads like that and this just pulls off. To reset it you just press them up and press them up and then it'll go right back on there. I'm gonna do that on all four of them. And what you're gonna want to do is take your spark plugs out and we'll be back to that in a second. Okay, with all the injectors unplugged and all the spark plugs taken out, I'm going to screw in the compression tester. And other than unhooking the connector, the fuel injector connectors like i done, you can unplug the fuel pump relay and it'll do the same. And you'll get the same effects from it. Okay, I don't know. Attach this. And as you're gonna go in there and turn the motor over, you're gonna to wanna to turn the motor over enough times to make it go through four strokes of the engine cycles of the four strokes strokes of the engine. Um, and every time you do it, it'll build up on this gauge here. Let me see if I can get it where you can see it. So you should, oh yeah. Here you see it, it's upside down and you can still see it. And as I turn the engine over, that's gonna tell us what our compression is. So with that, we got 100, 150 there. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> so I'm going to write that down and repeat it on the other three cylinders. And to just plug in your fuel injectors or plug your relay back in. And you're going to look for um, anywhere from like 120 to 150 should be good. And just for a uh, sanity check on my gauge. Again, it's at 150. 
So, oh. And that's what we're dealing with. Do that on the other cylinders and we'll see what happens.